Hey, what's up? My name is Dak. I'm going to be doing a Renoise tutorial while wearing a Renoise t-shirt. Underneath this Renoise t-shirt are three other layers of Renoise t-shirts. First thing you need are samples. I've got my samples here. These are samples that are given to me by Ron at Indemix. These are the samples he used to do his jerk beat tutorial. So if you go to YouTube and type jerk beat tutorial Indemix, you'll find his beat. We're going to redo this in Renoise. So first thing I'm going to do is just put them in Renoise. So now we're going to go into full screen. All right, so when you launch Renoise, this is the screen you'll see. Whether it's on the Indemix platform, on Linux, on a Mac, on Windows, it all looks the same. Looks kind of scary at first, but don't let anything intimidate you. It's really easy. Up here are the samples I imported. If I click down here, I can see the samples visually. If I press the Z key on my keyboard, I can hear them. Shut up! Hey! Alright. And here are tracks. Alright, we're gonna make this a bass track. Basically, I just rename it whatever I want. I'm gonna put the 808 kick on the bass track. I know that the jerk beats at around 100 BPM, so the first thing I want to do is change it to 100 BPM. Next thing I want to do is I want to get more lines per beat. So each of these is a line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. So the more lines per beat we have, the more notes we can stick in them. So I'm going to drop the bass on a few of these lines, see if I can get something going here. Uh, also, you'll notice this red border. If the red border's off, I can't type in anything. If the red border is on, I can type stuff in. So that's the escape key. It's the upper left key on your keyboard. So let's turn record mode on and drop a few bass notes. Okay, I know this beat, so I can do this pretty quickly. Yeah, there we go. Alright, sounds pretty good. I can turn on the metronome up here and see what's going on. Do a block. I got my beat, at least half of it. Sounds good. I want to duplicate this. And then I'm going to paste it down here. Sounding pretty decent. Here I'm going to put the snare. Snares, I think this. Uh, maybe we want the clap here. Let's let's make this the clap. Where I'm going to highlight one of the basic principles of Renoise just before we move forward. C405 is a number, but the C4 is the note. So if I click the mixer, sorry, the instrument editor, and play my tune, I see that this key is being hit because I'm, I've selected the clap. If I select the kick, I see that it's always pressed down, but that's because. Uh, sound is always going. If I go back to clap, I see that it's being clicked here. If I go into the sample editor, I can see that it's being played. This little line going shows that it plays. There's the bass. Boom, boom. So C4 is the note. 0, 05 is the instrument. So you got 0, 05 here. C4 is the note. 0, 04 is the instrument. I got 0, 04 here. So these things in track, these notes, trigger these instruments up here. 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4. All right, let's drop uh, the percussion. Uh, I know this too, so I'll just drop it in quickly. You can mess around and screw up, right? Maybe I want to put three here and see what it sounds like, but I don't it sound good, but I can... So I don't like that. Put it on one A. Pretty decent. 
I'm going to drop the Shut Up sample. That uh, was in the original jerk beat done by Ron at Indemix. Shut up! This is also we can introduce the idea of pitching. So on my keyboard, Shut up! Shut up! Controlling Shut up! The notes. Shut up! So this sample is connected, mapped to this keyboard, and then the higher I go, the higher pitch it, the sample goes. Shut up, shut up, shut up. The original is around D4, so we'll just drop it at D4. snare is pretty much the same as the bass drum so I can look over here and copy it here Here on the left, it's not up, it's to the left, you got a pattern, pattern zero. But we can stretch this and call it first pattern. Shut up, hey! So one thing about Renoise is that it's based around the idea of patterns. So there's no timeline per se, they're just a bunch of patterns or loops, you know, so it comes in handy when making beats, because when you're doing beats it's usually just loops. So here, I want to make a copy of this pattern so it goes play twice, and then I'll do a variation on, on the second pattern. So if I click this button, it'll clone the current pattern. So the difference here is 0, 1, 1st, 2nd. And you know, music's a lot, a lot of times, depending on the style of music, of course, is about repetition. So in this case, I want 0, 1, 0, 1 to happen again so I can get 4, 4 going. So I'm just going to duplicate this selection. So now you can see I got first pattern, second, first pattern, second. Now I'll just loop through this. Shut up, hey! You can see it jump. Shut up, hey! So now we're in the second. Let's make some variations to this one. Shut up, hey! Let's add three claps. Or let's just make that little different. Alright, so I made my variation. Let's run through the, uh, and again, I'm controlling the patterns on this side. Let's just add some distortion on the bass. So a track can have effects. All right. So I double clicked on this thing called distortion, which is an effect. It's one of several effects available when you use Renoise, and that's going to change the bass track because I'm see I'm I'm in this track. You can also get a mixer view, which makes things easier. But you know a lot of time you spend in the pattern editor, so I'm going to keep working here. Alright, so I hope that's enough to get you started. Uh, thanks for watching. Just go on YouTube, type Renoise, watch other kids do their thing, because this thing can do a lot. Take it easy.